Uh, what is up YouTube, it's Jason right here, and I just want to say happy 2017, happy New Year's to you guys. I want to say thank you for everyone who's actually supporting me um, in YouTube and who is subscribed to my channel. I really do appreciate that. But today, I'm going to go show you how to actually jailbreak your iOS device uh, running iOS 10.1. Remember, this is a beta. Make sure to watch the video entirely because I am going through all, all the bug fixes that you actually need to do when performing this jailbreak. Because there's a lot of bugs that you have to actually fix yourselves on your phone. So I'm showing you how to do this all entirely. So watch the video entirely, please. If not, you will um, have some leftover bugs that you may not want. So please watch in its entirety. I know it's a long video, but it's well worth it. In the previous video, I said you guys, if you like the video and you comment in the video, um, I'll actually jailbreak my device. And a lot of you actually got, got a hold of me on Twitter and told me to actually do this. So I'm gonna go show you how to actually jailbreak your device running iOS 10.1. And do remember that the iOS 10 jailbreak is only supported by the iPhone 7, 7 Plus, 6S, 6S Plus, and the iPad Pro. Right now there is no stable release. This is a very buggy release. Um, does contain a lot of bugs and issues uh, to this jailbreak. So I do want to keep that in mind. I'm not responsible if anything does happen to your device. So yeah, do this at your own risk. It's only for educational purposes. So let can start with the video. And yeah, so you do need a computer and a supported device as I told you. I will leave a list of support devices in the description below and on your screens right now. So yeah, so we're gonna jump over to my computer and I'll see you guys there. All right, so we're right here on my computer and all you wanna go to is the description below. I'll leave a link to City Impact, which is the most important tool, which will be how you're going to install the jailbreak. So if you're on a Mac, go to the Mac, uh, download if you're on the Windows, go to Windows, Linux, and you get the point. Now the jailbreak website will be this one right here, it's plain and simple, and as I told you right here, do not install this unless you know what you're doing, that's why I'm here for it, to actually guide you through um, this. But do remember that beta 3, which is the one I recommend you downloading, is the most stable version than beta 4. Beta 4 is actually broken, and it's only for uh, developers. Beta 3 is for developers as well, but it's more stable. So remember that beta 3 can still cause issues on your iOS device, so do take that in note. So all you want to do is click on beta 3, it will download, it will look just like this. You want to download the Sandium Packer. Once you do have all of those, so let me download the Sandium Packer from my computer. Alright, so Sandium Packer is already downloaded on my computer. So I want to go to is actually extract the Sandium Packer. And all these files should show up. Let's move that to the side. You want to open up Impactor. And before we do all of this as well, you want to back up your device onto iTunes. So go to iTunes and you want to back up your device. So I'm going to do that really quick. So to actually back up your device, just connect your phone to iTunes or iPad and you want to click on backup now. Because if anything goes wrong, you can restart back to the latest version of iOS. So you cannot be back to iOS 10.1, unfortunately. But at least you have a backup of all the things you lost onto your computer. So uh, that's a precaution I always take when um, doing jailbreaks. So once iTunes finishes backing up your device, um, connect your phone and open up City Impactor. And your phone should show up right here. And all you want to do is actually take the match portal IPA, which is the jailbreak, and drag it into the program. Print your Apple ID and password. This go. All it's going to do is actually verify the application so it can work on your device. So let me do that right now. Okay, so once I put in my Apple ID and password, all you want to do is click on OK. Same impactor should show up with little messages right here. And we should get a pop-up on our screens in just a little bit. So this is the pop-up I'm talking about. And all you want to do is click on OK. It's nothing actually to worry about. This one takes up to, up to one or two minutes. And that's probably it. So I'll be back once it's fully done. It's finished on my device, so all you're going to do is head on over to my um, iPhone and install this jailbreak and tell you um, some tips about doing this jailbreak. Alright, so we're back to my device. All you want to go to is go to Settings, General, and scroll over to the bottom to see Profile Device Management. Go to your email that you signed in this application. You want to verify it. I already did this beforehand. So once you do that, you want to go back and you want to go to Display and Brightness. I'm going to display in brightness and you want to go to auto lock you must have it at 30 seconds you must have it for 30 seconds if not this jailbreak will not work so once you do that I already have the CD icon because I already jailbroke this before because I actually recorded this video before and I didn't like how I actually uh, recorded it so I'm redoing the whole thing again 
but it's gonna be the same thing so you want to go to the match port application and it's gonna stay there for 30 seconds and it's gonna crash the application will crash so stay there for 30 seconds and the application will crash and then you'll be completely jailbroken so for me it just restarted my device as you can see it is very buggy you will not get the uh, city icon the first try probably even the second try so it might take a little uh, restarts on your device this jailbreak is very buggy so keep on repeating the process and I'll be back to you guys I'm back on my device as you can see city is not opening yet so we have to open the match portal application one more time and see if this is uh, the one to go work come on and yes it works so it should be like that, it should just crash on you. Let's open up Cydia. And there is Cydia is up and running. And you should get a message right now that storage is almost full. But on my device, um, I configured it so it won't show up anymore. So you wanna get Cydia Tweaks up and running on your device. Do remember that this can uh, restore your device if you do install unsupported tweaks. So I'm gonna make a top 10 tweaks video that are supported with the iOS 10.1.1 jailbreak. So do watch out for that video, it will be coming out today. So, but before we do all of this, I'm gonna give you a repository to add onto your device and you're gonna add it and it's gonna enable Cydia Substrate. If you know what Cydia Substrate is, it's the core thing to make Cydia tweaks work. Uh, the repo will be up on your screens right now and once you do add it, and if you do go on to it, you want to install both of these packages. But before you do that as well, sorry for that, you want to install Substrate Safe Mode. So you want to install this one first. So if you do install this, and it's going to tell you to restart your springboard. And you click on Respring, and your phone just goes into a black screen. does not boot up back to iOS. That's, that's okay, because it's supposed to do that. So all you want to do, if your phone is unresponsive, all you want to do, if you own the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, you want to grow, you want to hold the power button and the volume down button for around 10 seconds until your phone shuts down. You, if you do own the iPhone 6s and 6s Plus, you want to click on the lock button and the home button for 10 seconds and turn on your device again and repeat the jailbreak process. So once you install that, you want to get Cydia tweaks and themes up and running. So all you want to do is go to sources and you want to add this source right here. It'll be up your screens. Once you do add it, you want to all packages so you want to install this one right here so you want so for me it will be modify for you will be install and you can just click on install confirm so there is an install onto my device and you want to click on restart springboard so for some people you get the spinning wheel which is perfectly fine but for some people you get a black screen so if you do get a black screen as i told you if you do own the iphone 7 you just want to click on the lock button and the volume down button for 10 seconds and turn on back your device if you do own the iphone 6s and 6s plus just click on the lock and home button for 10 seconds and you should be good to go and repeat the same jailbreaking process so once you do that you should get this icon right here called substrate fix you want to click on it and for some people it will just crash your device and be unresponsive so you have to repeat that thing until you get it up and running okay so there it is my my phone is up and running with substrate fix so i just installed a tweak this is round dog so a little extra bonus tweak over there um if you do have an iphone uh stay tuned to this video because there is this bug where your cellular data service and to make phone calls, text messages, or even browse the web on your uh, carrier signal wouldn't stop working. So it's not going to work once you do this jailbreak. Or your iMessage and FaceTime will stop working as well. So all you want to do is actually go to Cydia and search up for M Terminal. So M M Terminal. It will be this one right here. And everything I'm talking about will be in the description down below. So um, do look at the description because all of this that I'm talking about your your fixes and all that will be in the description as well So you want to install the M terminal tweak Then you want to go and search up you want to search up open SSH and Once you do install open SSH then all you want to go to is open up the terminal app once you turn on the terminal app um, all you want to do is click on SU and it's going to ask you for a password for everyone that's watching this video is Alpine. So A-L-P-I-N-E. So it's not going to type in as you can see and you just want to click on return. And it's perfectly fine and you should get root access onto your device. So all you want to type in is the commands in the description below. So I'm going to do the first one with you guys. And so you can actually see that it actually works. So see. So it should look just like this. The first command should look just like this chmod777 space bar so 
as you can see I'm giving you an example of how it is if you type it wrong so if you type so if you type it wrong it should look like this chmod command not found but if you type it in right you should get bar mobile root so that's how it is so I'm gonna type in all, all the other commands and I'll be back so typing in the commands um, I'm on my third command right now but make sure to copy exactly how it is in the description so if it has a capital L on library do copy the capital L so it's lowercase c then you go to bar it's lowercase mobile is lowercase but library will be uppercase so make sure you type that in right preferences is as well capitalized and once you do click on return you should get this iphone bar mobile root and all you want to do is just power off your device so let's just power it off power it off you want to turn back on and renew your jailbreak and we should be good to go for this video so yeah that's all you have to do actually for um this part of the jailbreak so i want to say thank you to you guys who actually supported me on youtube and i want to wish you a nice 2017 i hope you guys have a great uh new year's and yeah i'm too so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up please subscribe more to videos come your way this chicks right here see you in the next one peace